we have conquered Mars. We sleep in hotels in outer space. We commute using hyperloops. The year 2050 sounds exciting and exhilarating. But what will become of our daily environment, our houses and apartments, the places we live? After all, we already spend 90% of our time indoors. How will our buildings develop? Will our single-use society result in less sustainability and a less livable building culture with ever fewer green areas? Buildings are being built higher and more densely than ever. Will our cities grow darker? And with them, our rooms? We're already an indoor generation, and that will hardly change in the cities of 2050, which means it's all the more important to make our living spaces as attractive as possible. But how? With green areas, with urban agriculture, with underground transportation routes, with more space for people and less for cars, with renewable energy, with active climate protection, with improvements to existing buildings to make them more eco-friendly, with smart construction techniques for new buildings with longer service lives. And the building interiors? How can we design rooms, and especially our own homes, to be more livable? With roof conversions that create more living space in the existing infrastructure. With more daylight. With smart buildings that can react dynamically. With more fresh air to breathe, and less air to not breathe. Above all, the way our cities will look in 2050 depends on one thing on us. We have control over our own culture and our building culture. That's why it's important that, in future, city planning and architecture do their part to maintain a building culture that meets our needs to optimize buildings for sustainability and to make our living environments healthier for us and for future generations.